Vanishing Point, a novel by Keith A. Kennel, 82 of 101. Part 82. Caleb reached beyond Skylar's shoulder and rang the doorbell a second time. A single bulb by the entryway flashed on and the curtains in the pane of glass to the right of the door fluttered. The door opened narrowly and a pair of eyes, a nose, and mouth appeared beneath tightly permed silver locks in the narrow crack. Yes? the woman inquired. May I help you? Caleb plastered his most convincing grin to his face, tilted his head to the side, and said, Miss McNutt, Caleb Morse, Carla's husband? I was just bringing Skylar home and wanted to introduce myself, he declared, extending his right hand. Mrs. McNutt's brows drew together as she opened the door wide enough to turtle her head out, her hands clasping one another rather than reaching for Caleb's offered introductory shape. Carla's husband, she asked. Why did I think Carla was a widow? Pardon? Carla... Caleb responded with a chuckle. Well, if somebody once said, news of my demise has been greatly exaggerated. I'm alive and kicking and just wanted to say hey. Carla's not in there with you, is she? I picked Skylar up from her friends and was dropping her off here, but there ain't nobody home, so I figured maybe Carla was over here visiting. She in there? Why, no, Mrs. McNutt replied, stepping out onto the stoop but keeping the door wedged to her side. She's not. Have you tried calling her? Not yet. I guess I will. I just need to drop Skylar off and be on my way. Got work to do, you know? Shoot, now I don't know what to do. Well, the woman said, holding the door open with one arm and motioning toward her with the other. You'd best come in, then. Mosquitoes will up and carry you away if you stay out here much longer. Oh, are you sure? He asked, swatting at the back of his neck. I sure don't want to be no trouble. Trouble? Don't be silly. That Carla and Skylar of yours are simply treasures. Just treasures. Now don't be silly. Come in, come in, she reiterated, waving her hand toward the house's interior. 